today's topic on hatch cover maintenance talks about some of the precautions we should be observing uh, before we onset heavy weather or rough seas or shipping season sprays. Uh, this is part of the series of videos I have been making on hatch cover maintenance. So make sure that you watch all the videos, the links of which are given in the description section below so that you get a good knowledge of this topic for your examinations. So today's focus is on the precautions that should be taken if rough or heavy weather or when high swells, shipping seas, sea sprays are expected or when it is likely that water will be shipped on deck. So prior to rough weather, check that the hatch cleats are properly secured and adjusted. In rough weather, hulls are subjected to high raking forces. So it is essential that hatches are held in place but allowed to flex a little bit. All right. Check that all drain valves are operating correctly and that they are open. Drain valves are the last defense against water entering the cargo space. The drainage system will be needed during heavy weather, so it must be fully operational. Prior to rough weather, also make sure that as a precaution, briefly pressurize the hydraulic system to ensure that it is fully charged and that the piping is filled with oil. Now on some ships, you have the hydraulic system to open and close the hatch covers. This is managed by the ship staff itself. On many or most of the container ships, of course, hatch covers are opened and closed by the shore gantry crane. So in that case, of course, you don't have to worry about this, but then many ships have this or some ships uh, have twin decks where the hatch covers are opened and closed by the hydraulic coil. Now, Making sure that the hydraulic system is fully charged and the piping is filled with oil has two main benefits. Firstly, it prevents the possibility of seawater entering the loose couplings or seals. And secondly, it eliminates any creep which may have occurred. After the rough weather has passed, make sure that you inspect all the cleats, drain valves, guides and hydraulic components for damage. If hydraulic components have been damaged, do not attempt to open the covers. The emergency opening procedure should be followed until the hydraulic components have been checked and tested. Check the hatch covers for buckling or distortion because sometimes with the weight of the sea sprays coming in, the hatch covers often buckle under the pressure or the sea water or pressure. When opening the hatch covers, make sure that you check for any kind of uneven movement and any unusual noises that may indicate the damage. Check all grease points and make sure you apply grease or re-grease the grease points to keep it movable. 